So good morning, Shane. I know everybody has wanted to hear from the Indiana State men's basketball team, especially head coach Josh Schertz. It's been a roller coaster day for this team, up and down emotions. You get left out of the NCAA tournament, but tonight they find out they're in the NIT for the first time since 2014. They're hosting an NIT game for the first time since 1978 when Larry Bird was a Sycamore. Coach, I guess I got to first talk about just how excited are you guys to still be playing basketball and hosting an NIT game? Yeah, thrilled. I mean, um, you know, it's it, 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 you know it's it's a consolation, small consolation, but you know, um, the, the, if we weren't in the NCAA tournament. I couldn't imagine a better place to play than the Holman Center in front of our fans, um, you know, and, and, and be able to do it here uh, where we've had such great uh, energy all year long. I mean, the fans have, have been terrific. Our guys love playing at home here in the Holman Center. So, um, you know, if we weren't going to be in Dayton, uh, the second best place to be would, would to be here in the, in the Holman Center. So, um, you know, we're going to dry our tears tonight and, you know, get up tomorrow and, and hopefully uh, as, as a program, our players, coaches, fans, uh, you know, we'll move forward and get ready for a, a big time opportunity here uh, early this week with us Tuesday or Wednesday night against a terrific SMU team and, and hopefully, uh, you know, uh, prove the committee wrong and, and show them, you know, why we deserve to be in the tournament. You speak of prove the committee wrong. I know this group, you know better than anybody. How much of a chip on the shoulder do they have right now? Well, I think, you know, uh, you know, a big one. I mean, you know, this group is super competitive. Um, they've been that way all year. I mean, they, 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 are, they are fierce, fierce competitors. Um, and just, uh, I think, you know, felt like, you know, they had done enough to get in. And tonight, um, you know, because they're so competitive, because they care so much and they're devastated. Um, but the thing is, 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 is you got you to gotta kind of pick the, the pieces up, you know, put yourself back together, um, find a way to move forward. This is life. Sometimes life gives you, uh, you know, gut punches and you got to be able to knock you to your knees. And you got to be able to get up and find a way to fight forward. And, you know, we're going to do that as a program. Um, you know, our, our, our players do that. Our coaching staff will do that. Um, and I have no doubt that, uh, uh, that our fans will as well. I mean, like I, I, you know, I said this, you know, the, the true measure of who you are, you know, as a person is how you respond to, you know, to things that don't go your way. I think our team and our fans uh, will, will respond and will have a great atmosphere and be completely ready to go. Uh, here on uh, Tuesday, Wednesday night. I want to tell you guys, I'm in here with the uh, ISU basketball coaching staff. They don't know when they play it. They're waiting to find out if it's Tuesday or Wednesday. As soon as we find out, we'll get that out to the public. Something to think about, I told Coach Church this three years ago today. This guy took over the ISU basketball program. Think about what he's done. Last two years, 51-19. and 19. He has the Sycamores in the NIT, three spots away from the NCAA tournament. They're getting better. So we'll have much more from the Sycamores the next couple days.